Hello, welcome to the channel. Just a quick, easy job today. Not many videos on how to do it, so I thought we'd just do you a quick video on taking the um, heater controls out when your bulbs have gone. So there's the heater control. When you turn the lights on, none of these lights up here and these don't light up. So we'll show you how to get it out. What do you need to get it out? <laughs> a butter knife. <laughs> An old school butter knife with the bone style handle is a must. <laughs> and a scraper. Um, of any description but very thin they just need to be really thin yeah so you can push them down the side just, people have said flathead screwdrivers and stuff but they won't be down because they're, no. they're round it's got to be something thin there's two there there's one clip there, there, there you go so there's just two clips on the side there then and then in the back there is some uh, plugs which you can get out with that. Yeah. Take them out. We'll take them out to show them where the bulbs are. And then the back comes off. So we'll take the back off and just show you the bulbs. Tools of choice. There's just two screws, aren't there? Yeah, just one there and one over there. They're only tiny. It's better to do it with a bigger screwdriver first. It's not quite tight. And then the reason I use this one is because it's magnetic. It's easy to put them in with that magnetic screwdriver. Yeah, you can tip it upside down to get. Oh, you just gotta pull the back off, are you? Yeah. So you can leave the screws in there. So when you open it, there's just um, like a data connection there with that tape. So watch it, I'll break that. And then these are the bulbs one, two, three, four, five, six. Them two light up the um, buttons on the end. M2 buttons, and you've got three along the top there, and there's only one that lights up all these along here. Um, so you just twist them to take them out, and they look like this when they come out. Yeah. And they're expensive, four pound a pop. So make sure the dough work before you buy them. Um, and that's it. You just replace them. These, these ones come out with a little flathead, don't they? Yeah. That, that one you used before. It's um. See. Just half a turn and then they pop out. That's that. So we change the bulbs and put it back in. This is the clock one. So just in the bottom there is the bulb for the clock. That's nice and easy to get out of it and pull it quite yeah, easy. Yeah. Pull that. Pop that there, but it's down there just with some little pliers. There is a flathead on it, but it's difficult to get in. So I'll do it with some pliers. So I'll put it back together, magnetic screwdriver, down the hole, and tighten it up. Mm -hmm. It's very cold today, because Peter's got his hat on. I'm going to get one of them hats with a little light torch on the front of it, yeah, with a torch. Yeah. I've never seen a hat. And then I can put it on backwards and see where it'll be. I've never seen a hat with this so high. You read, you read obviously I told him off. <laughs> I need it to be a cow head. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put this back in. So just the reverse, put your um, connectors back in. Clonk. Click. Every trip. And it just pushes back in the hole. And now we should have these lighting up. We'll turn the light off so we can see. Donk. So that now lights up, which didn't light up before. And these, when we put the light on, should also light up. Okay. It's difficult to see, but they am. Um, turn, turn it off. Yeah, look, they do, they do light up. It's difficult to see because it stays on. But you can see them lighting up green there. So that's how to do that. And there's, your, there's one in the clock, which is a light you see on that other one. Um, so you can replace that one as well. I hope this helps you. Please like and subscribe. 
like and subscribe. <laughs> See you next time.